Carpet here, gonna play some Game Dev Tycoon. Now, I'll admit, first time I heard Dev Ty Game Dev Tycoon, I thought it would be actually a game where you'd create tycoon games. So I came into it thinking, oh yeah, I can create any kind of game I want. And that's not too far from the truth here. Now, as you might be able to see from the screen here, I kind of got really excited and thought, you know what, I'll play a tiny bit of a game, you know, kind of show you guys kind of the game without me being terrible at it. So I kind of thought, oh, I'll play one quick game. And this was yesterday, I'll play one quick game and get used to it so I'm not a complete noob when I'm showing you all when you don't scream at me too much. However, in that one sitting, I didn't sleep that entire night. I just, I carried on plowing through and I completed the game. I, I stayed up till five in the morning. I've gone to work today and I've been incredibly tired so know that I'm pretty sure I'm pro I'm pro by now so we're gonna skip the tutorial we've got this welcome to dev game dev tycoon this business simulation you have been transported back in time to the very start of your very own game development company that's basically all you need to do we create games and we be awesome at it that that's all that all that matters well another thing that matters quite a lot here company name oh yeah so Right, I think I'm going to link it to the Minecraft series with myself and Scarecrow, which I do recommend you go and point out. And so we're going to be called Carpets Interior Decorate. Oh, no, okay. Carpets Decorators. Mm, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure it fits properly. Okay, we'd, oh no, we have to come up with a new company name on the fly. Um, Let's go for that. I don't think I've even spelt our own name, channel name right, but pfft, it doesn't matter. And of course, I am Limitless Carpet. And yeah, you can say it. That's that's one of the best internet names out there. Now, and what face yeah, might be? Well, if uh, I I don't know. I'm guessing these don't affect stats. I mean, I went with uh, where even is he? I think I went with this guy because to be honest, this looks like me. Uh, brown shirt, green shirt. Um, let's go for something interesting. Is there a suit? No, there isn't a suit. Okay, let's just go for that. Let's just get on with it. You, you guys want to see gameplay? Oh wait, I, yeah, you can see my old one. See, this is my old little slot here. I was making half a million. I had loads of fans. I played for ages. Okay, so we will overwrite blitz development. Right. So I'm going. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is develop a game. Um, now I've already come up with a perfect plan for our company. So we we basically tell a story with one character throughout all of our games, and that basically means that we're going to sell bajillions, and I can drive a Lamborghini, and everything will be wonderful. And so first things first, it's going to be a sports game. And it's and our character is going to be called Barry, and Barry is going to go to the gym. Now, just a bit of backstory on Barry. He, um, you know, he's a middle-aged accountant in uh, America, an American accountant, and um, you know his uh, his wife has mysteriously gone missing. You know, she was sucked into a black hole, which is dreadful, you know, happens all the time, you know, there should be like a charity or something about it, you know, raise awareness. Um, thing is, like, she left a note saying, you know, don't look for me, um, you know, I'm gone, and and don't think it's weird that this black hole's taken all my belongings with me as well, or, or our child who you can never remember the name of. So, yeah, yeah that's fine. So Barry's going to go to the gym to prepare himself for the, uh, the kind of trials that he's going to go through to go into the void and try and find this black coal and get his wife back. So it's going to be a simulation because he's going to work nice and hard. Um, oh, should we develop it for... Oh, which one? Um, well, the PC is a lot cheaper, so I suppose if the game flops, we'll be alright. Let's go for some graphics, because simulations need good graphics. Oh, there we go. I'm working hard there. I've already... what The first thing I do in the game is add bugs to it. That's just ridiculous. That is completely ridiculous. Ugh, 
I'm, I'm dreadful. This is a really bad start. So we need lots of gameplay. The engine needs to be amazing. Oh, who needs story? I'm, I'm providing all the story. We don't need any story to be provided by this development stage. I feel I should actually explain the game. Yeah, pfft, who, who needs to explain games? So basically, games go through three development stages. When you create a game, you have these sliders, and dependent on your kind of genre is how you want to affect these sliders. So if it was an RPG, you want loads of stories and quests, but not much. And so this is kind of your time allegations. Basically, you just want just mess around with it to see what makes you loads of money and see what's important in your game. So I really want the engine and the gameplay to be good. Because at the end of the day, what's a game without gameplay? Okay, so I'm working hard. I'm adding technology points, which means my game's, you know, more technological. And design means it's, like, really good ideas. Um, we don't need dialogue. There's no talking. It's a sports game. Artificial intelligence, yeah. I need personal trainers to be saying witty things at me. Uh, me? Barry. I hope I don't start to think I'm Barry. That's awful. And there we go. Level design. Because I want it to look amazing. There you go. Oh yeah, we're going to need these research points which we can use to upgrade our character. Research things to like develop our own game engine. It'll be epic. Uh, we don't need a world. It's a simulation. So graphics and sound. In fact, do I need world? I, I, I don't know. I suppose world in a simulation's important. I just I'll be honest. Last time I played this game I thought this setup worked alright. So yeah, I'm just gonna go with what I know. I need to get a bit more money up here. This is where all my money is, this is where the timer is. We've oh, there we go, it's done. Now I've gotta wait until all the bugs are gone. And there you go. Oh oh there we go, experience. Oh yeah, eleven design at twelve technology. So you get these bonus XP if you do something you haven't done before, which is awesome. And because it's a great combo, because they go really well together apparently. I never actually did sports and simulators. I, I did some others that we might see in the game later. Maybe everything's really level one. So I'm thinking if I really specialise my guy towards like the technology side and the simulator side, then like he'll level up those really well, make really good simulators. The problem is you can't flood the market with a with simulators, it doesn't work, they don't like it, because otherwise, you know, no one wants to just see four million racing simulators from one company, you've got to like mix it up a bit, um, so racing or fantasy, let's go, fantasy, oh wait, no, um, 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 let's go racing next, so th we're researching a new topic to make our game about, so we're research, we're reading about, oh, first reviews for Barry comes to the gym, Oh, oh, yeah, oh, I thought it was going to give me a 10 then. Oh, 7, that's pretty good for the first go. It shows potential. That's a very informed gamer there. Quirky. I'm not sure how going to the gym's quirky, but we got it. 7, knife experience. Oh, yeah, and all games say that my, my game is good. So I I think that's made right there. Um, Zedetra. I, I don't think I have spelled that right. Oh, well. Maybe I can put like an annotation in the editing of this video, because I don't edit videos, and this will be my first video I've ever edited. This is actually my first one I'm doing solo. Like, this is actually my first like single playthrough one. I'm not used to doing these, so we're gonna see how it goes. Ah, oh, see this research bar is gonna get up here. Ah, oh, look, Pong. I should have just built Pong. I've already got like the design specs for it sold 3,000 units. We made it to the charts! Oh my god! I suppose there's not many games out at the moment. Ah, oh, I sold 3,000 units. 3,000 people bought that. Oh my god. Those people are suckers. I need those people to watch my videos, actually. You know, you know suckers like that. You know, I need to think. We have 11 fans. Holy shit, that's already more fans than our channel has. Oh my god. Yeah, or maybe, maybe this will be the video that makes us big. Maybe this will be the video that, like, oh, New topic, racing, all right. Now, I don't know whether uh, generating another simulation game would be too boring for, like, the audience, but but I'm not sure whether by changing the genre they're, like, happy that it's a different game, because if you put the same game towards them, they're not happy. But we'll, we'll find out, we'll find out. Um, so this time, Barry drives to the... Ah, oh, Barry 
catches the bus. No! Ah, oh, what? Um, aha! There we are. All those years of using Twitter has worked out, because Twitter's this stupid little... Ah, oh, Barry gets the bus. This is going to be the best racing simulation ever. On the G64 as well. Ah, oh, yeah. It's going to copy 30k. Ouch. Okay, but we need, we need graphics. It's a simulator. Okay, you better not just add loads of bugs. Ah, oh, much better start. I can tell this one's going to be... This one's going to make us millions. I've decided. Ah, oh, it goes to the gym as a... As a G company sales record, 10k. Oh my God, who's? Ah, oh, look, look at all these people buying it. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Oh oh. Oh, it's got two bugs again. Oh, what are you doing, carpet? Oh my God. Ah, oh, I would be have like a problem with me talking to myself like in a game, but I'm currently talking to myself anyway. No, no, I'm talking to you, audience. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, oh god, I just can't help but think I don't want to edit this video. So if anyone has like a time machine, like comment below, come back in time and edit this video to be like really good. I'm not sure whether we'd run into like a paradox at that point. So basically, you've got to be good enough at editing not to cause a paradox. Everyone, we're all clear? I've probably lost every single like one of you here and you've all closed your internets and you're all going on with your lives and that's probably a better thing to be doing but for now I'm gonna continue because I really wanna play this game it goes off the market and it's ah oh, it's generated loads we've only got like 10k more than we started with but we've got more research and that's what matters oh yeah I just before I finished another technology this is gonna be such a technological company and a new record new combo so I'm still getting my bonuses which is good um, now, now let's see the reviews no, if I click it goes a bit faster. And who wants to watch me get li these little bars up? Okay, let's go, let's go. Speed run. I was actually going to sit down and do it like all in one. I was going to do that my day off. It was going to be amazing. I was just going to drink beer. Ah, oh, seven again. That's good, that's good. Oh, seven again. Yeah, I was going to drink beer all day. It was going to be brilliant. And I was just going to go through it all. But I've started a day early, the night before. Maybe get a couple of episodes in. Because I was just so excited to start so excited and I only just completed this game like last night and then like carried on playing it all through the morning and that's how good I love that's how I love this game really do and it's only about five pounds which is maybe about ten dollars I'll put all the links in the description below for you know getting the game etc okay um so oh yeah that's that's a better that's I think that's better maybe are oh, all games like this one even better? Well, who doesn't love racing games? Oh my god. That the... Ah, oh, yeah, see, called that, called that. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and the flexibility of the hardware. Oh yeah, well, we've already got a couple of games out. Maybe people will, like, buy that console and kind of be thinking, Ah, oh, well, I'll get some old games for it. Like, like Barry uh, gets the bus. In fact, no, Barry gets the bus, it's a new game. Hi there, I've just finished Barry Gets the Bus and I'm impressed by your talent. Oh, who wouldn't be? I'm contracting business. Oh, this is a great way of earning, like, new money. Who's Jason? Is he, like, under in the car? Okay, let's, let's find contract work. I I think contract work is brilliant for, like, getting more research as well. Even though it probably I probably won't get any here. It's only, like, at the higher levels that it's really useful. But a bit of extra money is never a bad thing. Oh, yeah transfer to your account I just got a word excellent oh yeah new contracts basically I need loads of research and I can start doing my own custom game engine oh, um, let's research um, fantasy no no let's let's carry on going Let's develop a new game. Let's go for a completely different game here. Let's go for a medieval RPG. We're the same as everyone else. I think I think the way these games are going to go, even though they feature Barry, they're not going to like link into each other. Because I'm thinking maybe sequels later down on the line, and so it's going to be like a bad sitcom where like you can just drop in at any time and the story hasn't actually gone anywhere. I think maybe in the end I, I'll maybe try and wrap this Barry thing up. But you know, so like this one will be. Barry goes back in time. Oh god, this character limit is just going to get me every time. Barry gets 
a TARDIS. There we go. For you who don't know, TARDIS is a time machine in from Doctor Who. Oh, got of uh, copyright not intended that one. Okay, so Barry gets a TARDIS. So he's gone back in time. He's ended up in front of the king, and he's gonna go be an RPG. Now, because the graphics aren't important in this game, I'm just gonna make him text based. I make him nice and cheap. So if the game flops, it's not such a big a deal. Oh yeah. So we don't need the engine. We don't need the gameplay. It's just text. We want the text to be amazing. This is gonna be like basically. I'm just writing a book here. Yeah, you go, you go, Limus, you go. Um, ah, uh, oh wait. Um, so don't need artificial intelligence. There's no levels. It's all text. So I'm just imagining like a black screen with white text, like command prompt. You know, at like the console. You know, like hang on. Windows has been going for like hundreds of years. Give or take. Dinky King. See, uh, brilliant copyright avoiding here. Um. Yeah, it's been over 100 years, and the command prompt is still black and white. You know, just make it a bit more snazzier, you know. Many uh, now doubt home gaming consoles would take off. Well, that's not going to happen, because we all can see the future. Uh, sounds. We don't even need... Oh, I forgot to click all this. Well, this game doesn't need sounds. No, it's all about design. I'm Just everything. There you go. See, the design's much higher. It's now off the market. Oh, yeah, Barry gets the bus. That's a brilliant one. I think Barry getting a TARDIS would be a lot more interesting than Barry getting a bus. I, this game's got to sell, like, amazingly well. I just... Oh. Oh. There we go. Also, I'm pretty sure he could be, like, a bookkeeper. or You know, use his accounting skills in an RPG. Oh, oh yeah, new combo. Ah, oh, yes. Engine. Ah, oh, everything. Oh, I thought we were going to be, like, specialised, but if I'm levelling everything up... Oh, look at all those dings.